Well, um, for this problem uh, with the ID 8.4.8-T, .8 um, first of all, I need you guys to read the problem here, read all the information, and uh, pause the video and read. After that, um, the important information here is identifying, first of all, the claim. Uh, the claim is, is basically here. It says here, a baseball analyst wonders whether the standard deviation of height of major league baseball player is less than 3.2. Okay, when the claim says less than or more than or not equals to or different, not equals, uh, that means the claim is on the alternative hypothesis. So in this case, the claim is uh, that the standard deviation is less than 3.2. The null hypothesis contains always equality. So let's write equality here, 3.2. And let's, let's specify here that the claim is on the alternative hypothesis. <coughs> Secondly, um, uh, well, uh, that's how you fill out these uh, these two these two parts, okay? By reading the problem and identifying the claim. If the claim says greater than, less than, equals, or different, that means the uh, the claim is an alternative hypothesis. Um, the next part is you gotta click on this icon, on this icon right here. So when you when you click on that icon, these numbers will pop up and you will uh, ha you have to type these numbers in the calculator. Let me show you how to get these numbers in the calculator. That's the sample, that's a sample of 20, 20 elements, right? It says right here, the height in, in inches of 20 randomly selected players are shown in the table. So that, you, can, you gotta click here and these are the numbers you will see. So this, from this uh, information, I gotta type this information uh, under, under list one. So you go to stat, edit, number one, and type all these numbers, all these 20 numbers on list one. Okay? Type it out, and then when you are done typing these numbers out, you go to stat again, you go to calculate, move to the, with the right arrow here, and press number one. Uh, and press calculate under the, here on the last option. What you will see here is, uh, well, you will see the mean of the sample. In this particular situation, uh, well, you don't need the mean of the sample. Um, what you will need is uh, the standard deviation of the sample because you are testing a claim about the standard deviation. In this situation, in this particular situation, um, that will be a, this number, let me show you, this number right here, this number right here. That's the standard deviation, the standard deviation of the sample, this one right here, okay? And uh, let me round that to, f uh, to four decimal places. Th that, that's the way they round it up here. S, it'll be, uh, well, approximated, right? It's approximated uh, to 2.1095. Let's round it up to four decimal places. And uh, N is 20. And the, um, the standard deviation on the null hypothesis I'm writing, let me, let me indicate that's the one on the null hypothesis, is 3.2. So, so let's find the test statistic. It says to calculate the value of the test statistic. For that, we use the formula, this formula right here. It says n minus 1 s squared over sigma squared. So that'll be 20 minus 1, which is 19. Um, 2.1095 square here, 3.2 square, and then we type that on the, on the calculator. Let's do it. That'll be 20 minus 1. Um, that'll be 2.1095 square divided by 3.2 square. Okay, what we're saying is 
okay, which is this number right here. Five seven, I'm sorry. Uh, we rounded up to point seven, five seven. So after you get the test statistic, we need to get the p value. The p value depends directly from the test statistic, and also for from the nature of the of the distribution. That uh, uh, that less than this this symbol right here, that tells you that it's a left tail. Okay. Um, when it's greater than, that'll be a right tail. When it's uh, uh, not equals to, that'll be a double tail. But in this particular case, that less than indicate there's gonna be a left tail. And that's gonna be a chi-square distribution, okay? So it's gonna be a left tail, like here. Um, if you guys remember, the, the, the lowest value for the chi distribution is zero. And the, in, in this case, the, the upper value will be the test statistic. So the p-value is obtained by doing chi square CDF, the lower value is zero, my upper value is 8.257, and my uh, the last value that I input is the degrees of freedom. Degrees of freedom, guys, remember that it's n minus one. So degrees of freedom means um, 20 minus one, which is 19. In this case, I have 20 elements here in this table. Let me tell you right here. Um, you have 20 elements. Uh, so the degrees of freedom is, is 19. Okay. So um, we type like this in the calculator. We type like that. Uh, second bar. In my specific case, it's a number eight. It's not number seven. Number seven is PDF. Number eight. It's gotta be PDF. My lower limit is zero. My upper limit is 8.257. Degrees of freedom is 19. And I paste it here. That's my, my, my p value. As you can see, they wanted to, to do, they want three decimal places. Okay, so you write 0 0.016. That's how you find the p value. Okay, so the next part of the problem here, like again, if you have a T83 calculator, uh, again, uh, the, the, um, the way you write it is pretty similar. The, the way you type it here, you just go to um, second var. Well, it, it's not working well. Let me see. Um, this is not working well. Okay, it's not working. Uh, it seems it seems like I have some technical issues here. Um, okay, it's right here. Um, you p you press second a uh, var, you press number seven, you press the lower limit which is zero, the upper limit which is in this case eight point two five seven, and the degrees of freedom the degrees of freedom which is nineteen. Um, that gives you the sa exactly the same number, okay? That's for K83. Um, on the next part of the problem, guys, uh, they, uh, they want you to, to write a conclusion, okay? The, uh, you got a p-value of 0 0.016. Um, and it, the question is, wha what is the conclusion at the 0 0.016 level of significance? As you remember, guys, when the p-value is more than the significance level here, than alpha, we um, we fail to reject, okay? We fail to reject. You know, hypothesis. You know, to, we fail to reject the null hypothesis. In this particular situation, of course, this is more than 0.10, so we write it like this. Since the p value is greater than the level of significance, do not reject the null hypothesis. Okay, up to this point, uh, let me stop a little bit. And, and as you remember, guys, the claim was here. When we did our claim, uh, uh, our alternative hypothesis, we stated, we did state that this claim is, is on the alternative hypothesis. So it uh, says original claim is on the alternative hypothesis and you reject the null hypothesis, and this is not our case. 
original claim is on the alternative hypothesis and you fail to reject this is our situation. So we write like this. There is no sufficient evidence to support the claim that in this case that the standard deviation is less than 3.2. So that's, how, that's why this is ordered out this way. There is no sufficient evidence to conclude that the standard deviation of height of major league baseball players is less than 3.2 inches um, at the 0.01 level of significance. Okay, so um, that's how you do this specific problem. Thank you.